Today we're going to be looking at some real world testing on the uh, Apple iPhone 3GS and the new Google Nexus device. Um, we've all seen the, the headline specs of the 1GHz Snapdragon on the Nexus, so now it's time to see what it can actually do. So first of all, here it is running on the on the 3GS. As you can see, um, it's running at a very nice 60, 61 frames a second, which is which is only limited by the the refresh of the LCD display. Um, this scene that we're showing is is just over 11,000 polygons. Uh, we've got two characters and a background environment. The uh, two characters are vertex skinned uh, with two, wor uh, two weights per bone. And next we have the, the Google Nex Nexus obviously. Um, there we go. So that's that's running at a, a rather disappointing uh, somewhere between 30 and 35 frames per second. So the, I should explain that the, the Nexus version is, is using exactly the same 3D engine, C++ code as the iPhone, uh, which is then compiled using the Android native development kit. There's a difference in that on the 3GS, the animation system has been, an, uh, been optimized to use the ARM neon floating point code, whereas the Android NDK doesn't support this right now. Okay, so next I'm going to increase the number of characters on both devices from the two that you see right now right up to, to eight and we're going to see what, what impact that has on the frame rate. So, as you can see, the, the frame rate on the 3GS is about 30 to 31 frames per second, whereas on the Nexus we're looking at between 20, 21, sometimes 22 frames per second. So, I suppose that, that brings up the question, is the frame rate on the Nexus caused by the GPU or by the CPU? Let's uh, pause the animation system on the Nexus so we can actually see um, whether it's the CPU. So the animation is now all paused, which means that the CPU uh, is now uh, pretty much idling. And as you can see, the, the frame rate is maybe, oh, maybe one frame a second faster, maybe not. Uh, it's it's hard to tell. So I don't I don't really think that the the CPU is the thing that's holding it back. It's it's more likely to be the the fill rate on the GPU that's the problem. Um, I suppose it, there's more that can be done to optimize the Nexus version, uh, possibly using smaller textures. Um, but in this test, I wanted to show that um, I wanted both devices to be on an equal footing. So purely in terms of hardware, I would say that the Nexus has a beautiful high res screen but the the price to pay for this high res screen is the fact that um, the games are going to run uh, slightly slower okay that's it for today hope you join us soon for more tech talks from dd